Hello YouTube people, let me show you this watch, Pagani Design 1668, the watch that is like several sizes too big for my wrist. So it raises first question, why I have even bought this watch if it's that big, if it's too big for me? Well, reason being I haven't bought it for myself, I bought this watch for this YouTube channel and after doing this review I'm obviously gonna sell this watch. But what's the reason? There are actually two reasons. This dial is very beautiful. I, I really like this dial. I mean, not only in the pictures it looks wonderful, but in real, in person, I'm not disappointed whatsoever. It's a very beautiful dial. And another reason is that for the money, what you get, it's a very durable mechanical watch. I mean, it has sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel, 100 of meters uh, water resistance, and also this very good Seiko and H35A movement, which is very rel reliable from my experience. So for the money, this is also a great choice if you have big wrists. So anyway, good things, bad things. I'm not going to split good things and bad things into objectives and subjectives. I'm going to mix them all together. So let's, you know, let's just start with negative things. What are the negative things of this watch? Uh, first, negative thing which I have noticed is that this bezel has horrible action. I mean, it's completely loose, it has a lot of back play and it doesn't have enough friction to be used as some kind of a timing device. But as some kind of a toy, it's very enjoyable to use because it has uh, 60 clicks per hour. Well, 60 click bezel, right? And for example, this Pagani design has 120 clicks bezel. So I'll let you listen how it sounds, for example. Okay, I'll turn the full circle, okay? And you listen. So this was 120 clicks bezel from Pagani design 1661. This year model, 2021. Very, very good action of this bezel. Now, this one, also gonna turn the full, full circle. It sounds and it feels so much meatier, so much more like a tool, like... I, I prefer 60 clicks over 120 clicks, to be honest. I just wish it would have a lot friction and would be stable, wouldn't be wobble, and that would be wonderful, but it isn't. So, let's move on to another negative thing about this watch. The bracelet. The first and second link. The gap between the first and the second link looks ugly. It just looks ugly. It's just like something is off, something is broken. Isn't really much to say about that. I'm just gonna try my best showing you from different angles how it looks like. So you judge for yourself. If that doesn't bother you, it's fine because this bracelet itself is rather good. It isn't too sharp and it is full solid, solid links, solid end links. It's durable item, <laughs> let's just say that. It just doesn't look that good in this area. Another negative thing is uh, this clasp. Although the clasp itself is wonderful, but it doesn't have any micro adjustments. So that could be a problem. And speaking about the bracelet and the clasp, let's just try this watch on a silicone 22 millimeter strap. Let's just see how it looks like. I mean, I kind of like how it looks like on the silicone strap. So you see for yourself. I'll try to make several shots close up from the far as well. So, and sad thing that I have only one or maybe two uh, 22 millimeter straps. So I can't really make a fashion show for you. So one will do, okay? Now let's move on to another thing, which is, well, the loom of the watch. The loom is not strong, forget it. If you want good loom, forget this watch. Now let's move on to the positive things. What are the positives? Well, <laughs> the first, the main thing, the, the obvious one is the dial. It's so beautiful. I mean, this dial is... I mean, I don't even need to tell you anything. You see for yourself. I'll try to do multiple shots of this watch up close. You can judge it for yourself. I can only tell you one thing. 
This watch looks better in person than in pictures or videos. This is one of those watches. Of course, it's down to a personal preference, but for me, I like blue dials and this blue dial has this very nice shininess to it. These lines going throughout the dial, this shininess, I mean, the more light hits this watch, the better it looks like. Especially in the summertime when it's sunny, it looks incredible. This watch is really beautiful. I mean, design-wise, I can't really tell any bad things about this watch. Nothing looks out of place. Everything looks just perfectly proportioned and sized. It's very nice. Okay, another positive thing is very technical. Uh, this positive thing is the crown. The crown itself has this engraving on the side, but that's not about the engraving. It's about the crown itself. It is big bulky and very grippy crown. It feels wonderful. Another positive thing which I have already mentioned is the obvious things is like sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel. I mean the movement is very good. Sequenish 35A movement. I had multiple watches with this movement. I still have and all of them never had any problems. They run great. Just great. I mean this movement is just wonderful for the price. I've I don't even need anything better than that. I mean, <laughs> seriously, it's, it's good enough for me. <laughs> well, that's about it, I would say. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't been wearing this watch too much because uh, this watch on my wrist feels like, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example. My shoe size, European shoe size is 42. And wearing this watch, for me, it feels like I'm wearing shoes, shoes, <laughs> like I'm wearing shoes uh, size that 45 which is like three sizes too big for me. That's how this watch feels on my wrist. So my wrist size is 16.5 centimeters. If yours is similar to mine, forget this watch, it's just too big. And if you are a larger gentleman, have big wrists, check it out. This watch is wonderful, it looks really great. At the end, you know what's my verdict? Where I'm gonna put this watch in my tier list on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com. This watch goes into not bad, well, because it's not a bad watch. It's not a perfect watch. It has some flaws, like the bezel action, the loom is not the best, the bracelet could be better, but overall it's it's good watch, so that's where it goes. Not bad. <laughs> that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.